One of the things that's quite clear about the financial crisis is that many people, whether it's investors or the CEOs of companies or rating agencies, all underestimated the amount of risk that they were taking. None of these banks that failed would have taken so much risk as to let the bank fail if they had known that they were doing that. So one interpretation of the financial crisis is that we need to do better risk management. What are the things about risk management that need to be improved so we can make better decisions, have smaller errors, and avoid these kinds of events in the future? We look to see whether our methods, the ARCH model, would have given better risk management over the financial crisis, or whether this also underestimated risk. It gave very good estimates of how much risk investors were taking in the financial markets one day in advance. And that immediately made us realize that that was not the right question. We don't want to just be able to forecast risk one day in the future. We want to be able to forecast it maybe a few months in the future or a year in the future. One of the key features of the financial crisis is that risk was very low and volatility was very low before the financial crisis. But that was a short run risk. And many people who saw this volatility being so low ended up putting on big positions like buying big quantities of mortgage-backed securities and other kinds of assets, CDOs and, and all the kinds of things that got into trouble because they thought risk was low. But it was only low in the short run. It wasn't low in the long run. And when the risk went up, all of a sudden these assets were undesirable. They tried to sell them and everybody was trying to sell them at the same time. We call this risk myopia. People are myopic about their risk. They don't see what the long run risks are, they only see the short run risks. So one of the things we're doing with VLAB is trying to come up with measures of longer run risk that we can use to make longer run decisions. We have this website which produces volatility forecasts every day, and it did that during the financial crisis. So we could go back and see what kind of forecasts it made about the risks of investing in the stock market over time. When we do that, we can see how much capital any particular financial institution would need to raise if we have another financial crisis. How much capital would it take to rescue the entire banking system of the world if we have another financial crisis? Today, that number is about three and a half trillion dollars. It's a big number. It's not as big as it was in 2011 and 12. It's not as big as it was 2008, 9, but it's still a big number. Can we ever get out of this? I think so. If the economies could grow, were to grow, then the banking sector would become stronger and the governments would become stronger because the tax revenue would go up. The problem is without growth, there is no place to get the additional money. I think we need more cooperation with, between countries and a little more flexible fiscal policy.